Derek Krause's numbers from his first full season in the Gander Trucks. Two top five performances, seven top tens. You may not know the Wisconsin native, so we figured we would share a little more about Driver 19. I first started racing when I was nine years old in a go-kart and just moved up to a Bandolero and then a Midwest truck and then a Super Late model. I ran three years in the K&N West, won the championship one year, and now we're into the truck series. If I wasn't driving cars, I'd probably be driving dump truck for my dad. My dad owns a dump truck company. There was kind of like a backup plan, really. If I wasn't racing at all, that's probably what I'd be doing. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of people that ask me where I'm from, and they can always tell by a few things that I say. I don't really know what I say, but they will repeat it in my Wisconsin accent. It's probably going to be Ty, my roommate, the owner of the house that I live in. Uh, he's been there for me my whole life. Living with Ty is a lot of Mountain Dew and uh, Jack's Pepperoni Pizzas. And what is the Jack's Pepperoni Pizza? You've never had it? No. <laughs> you got to go to Walmart and get a Jack's Pepperoni Pizza and make it tonight. Green Bay from being Wisconsin, and I've always grown up watching them and the Badgers, so uh, them are my favorite football teams. Probably want to be a running back or a wide receiver. I feel like scoring touchdowns and being there in front of the fans would be a really cool moment. And if I scored, well, I can't dance, so the dancing would be out of the question. Uh, probably being from Wisconsin, I'd do a Lambo leap. Celebrity crush is probably got to be Kelsey Ballerini. I think she looks really good. <laughs> And we were racing at Oktoberfest, one of the big race weekends back at home in Wisconsin, and I was not supposed to be out there. I was way too young. My dad told me, he goes, every time you got your suit on, go hide in the hall. Of course, I listened to my dad, and I did that. Ended up getting fast time, and I had to do an interview. Of course, I was... Four nine and twelve years twelve years old, and uh, the first question they asked is, "How old are you?" I think I said fourteen or something. Someone knew me, and they said I was twelve, and we were frowned upon to race, but we ended up racing, and I think I ended up fifth in the race, which is pretty good. I used to always be a really big fan of Carl Edwards. Something that always stood up to me was his backflip after he won a race, but now it's probably gonna be Chase Elliott. He's really good at what he does, and that's why he's racing on Sundays. Make it to the highest level of, of NASCAR. And I feel like we just got to keep taking it race by race, perform the best we can at each race, and that will carry me into the bigger steps of my career, and hopefully one day I can be at the top level. And hopefully you get to date one day with Kelsey Ballerine, right? <laughs> uh, so where is Derek Krause in terms of the playoff picture? Right now he's below the line by two. The battle really tight enough with Tom Gillen just above it, and Tyler Ankrum five to the good, one of the drivers who made the final four a year ago. So when it comes to that cut line, as we mentioned, it's close. Is it really a three-man battle to get to Bristol start of the playoffs, Todd? I absolutely. You know, last week I said it was a two-man battle yeah, with, Gil with Ty Gillen and Derek, and Tyler Ankrum leapfrogged these guys with a great run out there, and, and you know, it's definitely a three-man battle because these guys have to pay attention to each other where they are in the track and race each other because they're not going to gain those guys ahead of them. But the problem is if one of the guys behind them wins, two of them are out of the playoffs. So they have to race each other to get into the playoffs. So when it comes to these three guys, is there someone you think has an edge of this group? Well, I would have normally, I would say the guys with the experience, Tyler Ankrum and Todd Gilliland, but Derek Krause has done things that he really shouldn't have been able to. Some of these racetracks he hadn't been to, he's got top fives, top tens. This is at Dover, one of the racetracks that he did come to running a very limited schedule last year, and he had a top 10 finish. So what that 18 year old has done is not is has been totally surprising and would not surprise me to see him make his way into the playoffs must be all those jack's pizzas he's Absolutely. totally helping the on-track <laughs> performance all right for the past three years the one whose success outshines the rest of dover has to be johnny Sauter. 